Hey guys, it's Trigger Conroy. We are back from Earthbound. We are here in Threed, and we have Jeff with us now. Now, here's that don't enter sign again, and do not enter. They make that typo twice in this game. Whereas the cop says, hey, the sign says do not enter in Winnet, and now we actually read the sign and it says do not enter. Yeah, I can't believe I noticed these things. Okay. So now, we're back in three. Oh, what's going on? They're running inside. He used to call me evil, but he's almost much more scary. Left my wife and kids to a home. Uh, I left. He left his wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. That's so scary. That God, what a loser. Frankly, I'm running scared. Doesn't mean I actually run around. I mean, I'm just frightened. Here's since this town are getting worse. We got all zombies in a tent and set it on fire. There's weird object flying across the graveyard. It looked like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Why did you go on that flying interruption? Yeah, I mean it even said boom when it exploded. Now, some NPCs will hint you at where to go next, but to be honest, I am just gonna go there because I don't feel like finding the NPCs. Yes, and I'm lazy. Whatever. You just go down here, and there is a there's another tent down here, and another circus. Oh, what do we got? Some enemies. Now, people often mistake this enemy calling it the Trick or Treat Kid. It's the Trick or Trick Kid. Look at this. Enemy. Handsome Tom. Handsome Tom's useless knowledge! Alright, never mind. God, I miss Handsome Tom so much. He was so cool. I really miss him from Screw Attack. Any, but any other guys who are on Screw Attack? Awesome. I know there is not a stuttering Craig enemy in here. There is a handsome Tom, and there's some other enemy that I can't remember the name of, but I know it's not stuttering Craig. And yes, I do totally rip off handsome Tom as part of Warp Zone when I say, you know, the Chugga Conroy is useless knowledge. Which I try to do once a week, at least in the shows. Okay, now we got this guy. Oh, oh God! Hey, here is a really tough enemy right here: the zombie dog. The zombie dogs are annoying as heck. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Actually, no. Freeze beta on the zombie dog, because we want to take them out. Because those zombie dogs can be pretty devastating. Now, when we were talking about that when they said they wanted to trap all the zombies in a tent and set it on fire, that's actually a hint for what we have to do next. Yes, believe it or not, it is a little bit of a hint. It's kind of far-fetched that it would be a hint, though, but it is. Smash! You got smashed by Paula. You know you're a loser. We'll probably go level 14. Okay. Good. Jeff grew to level 14. Mm, we got some guts on Jeff. Not bad. Let's heal Paula. And let's heal Jeff. Because we're going to need it. Got Look at how much more powered up Ness is. Look at that. Ness has like 99 more HP than Jeff. And he's got like... Let's just check out our stats. Okay, we're level 21. She's level 14. He's level 14. Oh, well. Oh, whoa. And we walk up near this thing. And this is a boss fight. The boogie tent trapped you. I like how the battle background's actually the tents and everything, though, showing that we're trapped in the tent and all that. So it trapped us in the tent. The only time this battle background gets used, obviously. Okay. So, we're going to start off by doing PSI Flash, because I believe it is vulnerable to that. It might be, I forget, hopefully. And, let's use PSI Fire, because they were saying, you know, if you're trapped in a... Like, we were hoping we'd trap the zombies in a tent and light it on fire, so that was kind of a hint for what we had to do here. Because it's weak against that. And now we'll try using the bottle rocket for some massive damage. Well, attack its weak point for massive damage! 
Could not stop crying because now it's attacked. She missed a lot. Jet fired the battle rocket. Okay, sweet. Come on, Paula. Attack its weak point for massive damage. Okay, never mind. It shot fly honey out of its mouth. And that means that it can make us not able to move when it does that. No, seriously, since when did flies make honey? I don't know. Or maybe it's like, you know, like... Maybe it's like being like racist or something like that. I don't know, like, you know, like... Hey, you fly, honey. I don't know. God. Reminded me of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Hey, you fly, honey. The fly, honeys. Alright, never mind. Enough of that. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is awesome, though. And if you don't think so, I don't know what the heck is wrong with you. It is one of the coolest shows out there. Even in reruns. You know, let's branch out and try PSI Freeze, because I usually don't use it in this fight, so I just want to see what it would do. If it does more damage than fire, I'm going to laugh. 16! Oh my god, it died from 16 damage! <laughs> As Weird Al would say, You're pitiful, you're pitiful, you're pitiful, it's true. Alright, never mind, it disappeared. And some zombies that were in the tent had this, they were controlling it. There's a jar of fly honey inside. Just what we needed. As Mario would say, just what I needed. Okay. Oh, we got a phone call. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, it's, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. I need to do is place paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And zombies get stuck to the paper. Move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, just ask the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. Never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be telling you if I come up with anything else. That's kind of what always says, like, that there's zombies terrorizing the area, and you could get rid of all the zombies terrorizing the area, and then he says that he's never seen a zombie, and he's not even sure if there are such things. So that's kind of really weird that he would say that, because first he says that there are such things, then he says he doesn't think there are such things. Yeah, this guy just... I just pretend that you're Ness, and I'll give you this. Hello, Ness. Go with this man, this one. Okay, yeah, I've made the decision you're Ness, no matter what. He just wants to freaking get rid of this. Probably got the zombie paper, that's right, Ness, wink, wink. Got my job... Duty and giving you a kid's thing of a jig. Well, goodbye. We got lucky. Yeah, the mock pizza guy. Um, actually, a little fun fact about the mock pizza delivery guy is this game came in a huge box and it included the player's guide and everything. All right, let's lay down the zombie paper here. But um, there were some scratch and sniff cards in the back of the player's guide. Huh? What? Place zombie paper on the floor. It said it couldn't be used there for a second. I don't know. That's weird. But, uh, one of the uh, scratch and sniff cards was a mystery scent, and it was actually pizza was the mystery scent. But if you could figure out what the mystery scent was, and you mailed it in to Nintendo, uh, when this game first came out, they would send you back a, uh, Mock Pizza Delivery Man Air Freshener. And, uh, that Mock Pizza Delivery Man Air Freshener, that would, uh... And everything? Uh, it, it, yeah. it was a thing you could hang up in your car. And it would make everything smell like pizza. So it was kind of cool. Uh, I saw someone with those uh, air fresheners on eBay one time, and it went for like $600. That's how rare they are. All right, anyway, now that we've laid down the zombie paper, we got to stay in the hotel, because we got to let some time pass before the zombies get attracted to it. But yeah, seriously, though, if you have one of those mock pizza air fresheners laying around still in the original package, never opened, you can make a bundle off of it. Well, anyway, now the zombies are getting attracted into the tent. You know the drill. And now those zombies that are blocking the way in there, out of town... They've left their post. Because they're attracted to the smell of zombie paper. And even the zombie dogs are going in. Well, anyway, now we've rested in the hotel. Look at this, it looks like it's daytime outside whenever you stay in the hotel, but it isn't. Alright, anyway. Um, hopefully, you, I'm gonna cut this right here. Hopefully, you like this part. Um, if you did, subscribe to my uh, videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Uh, Give me a good 5 star rating down below this video, and be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. Alright, I'll uh, see you guys later.